up for one of the best sequel names of all time if we get an eventual sequel ah <sighs> this is so good i wonder if there's one on k-pop no there's not well then i guess i gotta do this myself <clears throat> uh one one week later that was one long week of scripting anyways k-pop summer wait no k-summer could that work how about this? This comer was amazing. <laughs> I don't know what could ruin this comer. Netizens get in a debate over I've member Lee Sao's clueless concept after she says that she didn't know Pikachu. Well, that just ruined my summer. What can I say? The K-pop summer of 2022 has ended and it has been amazing. We had some great songs and then we had this. I bring the pain like ra -ta -ta -ta, ra -ta -ta -ta. But then we had more great songs. <laughs> Go on, queens. We've also had debuts that have been amazing. Chart topping songs, bops, bangers. Bad songs, redemption arcs, emo arcs. We also had an iconic giant make a comeback. And then we had this. Okay, and uh, I don't know what the fuck I just watched, but I'm sharing it anyways. <sighs> There's no way something I said didn't age well, right? Right? We finally have a group that feels natural and not being forced to do older concepts. Cookie, not the food. Yes, an underage girl group made an innuendo song about their private parts by calling it a cookie, which makes me feel sick hearing about it. But attention is the summer song of the year. Let's go. Everything about attention is just fresh. And when you listen to it for your first time, you are going to be blown away from the delicate harmonies from New Jeans voices to the fact that they are just a group of friends hanging out and they're not even wearing makeup. They're not going for a perfection music video they're just the teenagers they are meant to be just everything about this is fresh for the k-pop industry and i hope there's more like this to come but then we have cookie and i'm just here like yeah it's time for me to cheer up but what could possibly cheer me up if only ghost generation had a comeback oh ghost generation had a comeback an iconic legend came back now that cheers me up but this song kind of sounds like one of those survival show songs. Ever since I made that discovery, the song has just been funny to me, but it's still so good. But I am happy they are back. Oh nice, Blackpink broke a new record. I'm so proud of them. Oh my god, what? No way, what, what, no. What? So many, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Blackpink broke even more records. I don't know how they keep breaking records and records, but what I do know is that they release good music. Oh, maybe that's why they break records. Because they release good music. But we don't talk about Pink Venom. I prefer my Niccolo Paganini hype music over Pink Venom, so you know, it is what it is, so. <laughs> but you know what? I'm actually getting tired of hype music. That's all we see now. It's everywhere. I just want something more relaxing. Woohoo! Yeah, let's go! Oh, what am I saying? This shit is hype! Yeah, what am I saying? I will always love hype trash, and NCT 127 delivers that with this song. But then we have this. This shit is weird, but her voice is just addicting. So I'm gonna break this down for you. A Korean elf is selling Ja Jung Yeon on the streets. And then she bumps into this guy. The guy is mad, she is sad. So she follows him. How bad can it get? Our Korean elf waits for him to sleep. She then nabs them nails, takes his money, and he wakes up. So what does she do? She bites his finger off. And then we find out she's a cult leader and she burns the fingernails. Then everyone dances. The end. So what's the lesson learned from this? Don't mess with Ja Jung Myon, street sellers in Korea. Dance queen. Damn, that's some sick ass editing. I wonder what the most replayed part of the song is. Ooh. Oh, damn. 
Dang, first time watches be like. Let me get them nails. Nah, but for Rosies, I'm gonna be keeping an eye on these guys for more amazing music videos and abs because this is just so mesmerizing to watch. <clears throat> the abs. Hey, our favorite mixed gendered group is back. Well, they're the only mixed gendered group, so that means they're gonna obviously be the favorite mixed gendered group. But they are back and that's so good because it's been two years since their last release and I was kind of scared we wouldn't get any more of Card. I was worried. Thanks Card for coming back. Thank you so much. Okay, okay, okay. I might be cheating here, but this group debuted one day, okay? One day before summer. So I might just be super kind to them. But super kind debuted with an AI member and it's so unique. Like look, look at that shit. And the other members, they're also doing such a great job. And the music video quality is just so good. But that AI, the editing done by the editors, that is insane how they managed to rotoscope around the members for the AI called Say Jin. But this song is also really, really catchy. And it's got my favorite editing sequence in all 105 music videos. I went through for this video. This group is just so cool and I can't wait to hear their future songs. I'm just surprised that they only have 1 million views. Oh yeah, Aesper came back and uh, the MV is cool, but the song? Eh? Which sucks, but life's too short. That song is amazing. I just wish I could have liked girls. Oh. But oh well, I think it's fine for me to not like every song. Within a 2 minute and 49 second music video, we got to hear pop 82 times. 82 times! Pop, pop, pop. Oh, oh. Yeah, and that's because it's catchy! Alrighty, okay, okay, it's just the phase. But yo, this is fire. I didn't expect this from J-Hope and it was just good. Yo, when it is back, we need more music videos like this. Not just dramatic, over the top, epic music videos, okay? Oh, whoa. Yo, hit him. So sometimes you just gotta watch the music video for the music video. I would love to watch a full featured movie of this music video. And this is my first time listening to Tiger JK and I'm a fan. But the acting in this is so good. Like can we please have a movie with Tiger JK as a lead actor? Like bro, he is just like John Wick. The action scenes are just so impactful and this is just one of my favorite discoveries I made for this video. It goes for 5 minutes and 39 seconds but it goes by so fast. How much cooler can a music video get? Yo this looks so badass! We have helicopters and cars, how more badass can it be? Oh what does that say? Great guys hide their identities as vampires and live as bodyguards to protect the girls they love. Oh, it's so cringy. But is the song good? Yeah, it's not bad. So Sumi released another good song to listen to. Keeping up a mortal queen who experienced the death of all of her lovers, which is extremely sad. But this song though, it good. Well, that's good. Because I'm a nerd. This comedy horror music video is just a fun watch and I've come back to it quite a few times because I have a fun time watching this music video and the song is really good. Like bruh, another new group with a cool concept? I am winning with my discoveries! I would love more songs like this please. But you should listen to After Like for a sweet romantic song that just pops off. Oh yeah, another banger hype song? Wait, hasn't almost every boy group of the fourth generation released only hype songs? And the girl groups have released more versatile music? It's a bit odd, isn't it? Woohoohoo! Yeah, this is so hype! 
Doom, doom, yeah, you hit that bass. Chewy, you can hit me too. Okay, but Twice just knows how to make good music and they always deliver it to us. It's just so catchy. Ooh, a QR code. Where does it go? Okay, okay. Huh. Oh. It's free real estate. Yosh, I love that line in the song. It feels so real, so emotional, so free real estate. But seriously, this song is about being in love with someone who is ultimately hurting them. Like a beautiful monster. But damn, Jolly Waddy Gosh, I love this song a lot. And you know what else I like? People in underwear jumping in a forest. Mmm, so many nail clippings to collect for my rat revolution. <laughs> But seriously, sometimes a nice, beautiful, slow song is what you need in order this hype, energetic music that we get. And The Rose released a song that is just so relaxing, which has one of the most beautiful set of lyrics that I have listened to. This gentle song is something that my heart needed. A soft, emotional moment. But underwear people, you can always rely on Zico to release sensational music for you to listen to, especially during an apocalypse. But doing this video, I discovered some undiscovered gems. So doesn't that make them discovered now? But it's truly amazing being able to find songs like this through the massive wave of music that we get every week that swallows everyone that is smaller than them. And it really makes you want to focus not only on your faves. I'm aiming that at you, you solo stands. But to actually discover that there are hidden gems that almost no one on the 7.7 .7 billion populated planet has listened to. So I put all these songs in a playlist and I really hope that you give these songs a chance for how good they are. There's just so much more out there and I am pleased to be able to share these gems with you. Legitimately, some of them have been the best songs that I have found. And they can have less than 1,000 views. Music's not about popularity. It's about art, people sharing it with you, and not caring about numbers. But damn, it's time for the community picks. This is where I went to YouTube and Twitter and asked you for your favorite songs of this summer. So let's see what you've picked. Oh. Well, let's see if my second tweet did any good. Hmm. Well, I can always rely on my YouTube posts, right? Oh. Well, there's always a next time, right? Yeah. I wish I could talk about a lot more songs that appeared during summer, but I had to cut it down from 105 to around 20 songs, which was hard. But you should be able to listen to all 105 songs in a playlist that I made for you over on Spotify. And I hope you all had a good coming like I did. And I shall see you guys next time. Peace. Hey, thank you for watching the video all the way up to this point, past the Patreon outro. What is Logan going to be talking about? A couple things. First one. This might be one of my last K-pop videos if it doesn't do that well. Because I have spent a lot of hours on this video and if it doesn't do well, like, I, I don't know, like 10,000 plus views, I'm going to be a bit upset because I have spent three weeks on this video? Almost four? But also, it is also my part of the job to try and get the whole title, thumbnail and all that stuff right, which will help get it onto the algorithm. But it's just really disappointing when I spend like almost a month on a video and it does yeah, not so well. And speaking of not so well, someone's got a loud car. I found a lump on one of my testicles. And I've gone to the doctors, but it took me a few weeks to get to that point. I was scared, nervous, embarrassed, and I shouldn't have been. I should have gone straight to the doctors, got it checked. I got an ultrasound on Tuesday and a few days from now, so hopefully that will be fine. Hopefully I'll be good, but if not, 
Oh well, it's a battle I got to win. But the reason why I'm telling you this is because I want you to check yourself, you know, if you're a female, check what you got to check, and a male, if you have to check your rules, just do it. It takes like a few seconds, and if you find a lump, don't be afraid like I did. Don't hide in fear. Just don't. It's not fun. Just go straight to a doctor. The moment I finished that appointment, so much stress and anxiety just dissipated. Dissipated? Disappeared from me. So I kind of want you guys to do the same. If you find something wrong with you, go to a doctor and don't live in fear, please. And the reason why I have a beard right now is because of the anxiety and stress. I just don't want to shave. I don't want to really do much. It's a bit depressing and all that stuff. I'm still scared, but not as scared as I was. But yeah, that, that those are the two things. This might be one of my last K-pop videos if it doesn't do well. And then um, uh, I was just saying you guys just do a check on yourself. You know, I care about you, I want to spread awareness, because I had no idea that would happen to me. I'm a kind of healthy male. Kind of. So in a few weeks, if this video hasn't done that well, I'll still be working on a K-pop video after this one, but if it hasn't, then I'll be most likely just starting to work on like anime opening videos, talking about the songs for that, just new Japanese releases. I'll be moving to Japanese music, basically. Um, as much as I love K-pop, I don't think my content is suited for K-pop because it's not reactions. Legitimately, people like people who do this. Wow! Awesome! Whoa! You slay it. But yeah, because of K-pop mainly being about reactions and then K-pop news, I feel like there's just no future for this channel if I want to continue to make content like this. But yes, other than that, hopefully you all have a great day. Keep smiling, check yourself wherever you need to check yourself, like up here or down down there. You know, just check, be healthy. I love you guys and peanut butter.